We're not being dissuaded at all or being discouraged at all in our race because we really feel that as long as we continue to push out the message, as long as we're trying to expand our reach, not in a numbers game wise, but in a vision casting wise, and are able to enroll people into our movement and in our vision, we're able to do that. I think we've reached a full three weeks now since quarantine. I am. about quarantine is can't get a haircut. I guess I could cut my hair. Use my kitchen scissors. Save money. <laughs> so if you have any hair products, please recommend them to me. Nine different YMCA locations are opening up. Their facilities for unhoused neighbors to take showers. So I just wanted to go check out the facilities. There's the lines for social distancing. So then these lines go up here, lines are over there, shower pool and then We're just really focusing on the issues and policies where we could do better as a country, as a government, where when we are electing officials, what are we electing them for? What are their views? What are their stances? What what new ideas and leadership can be brought to the table? What are the issues that our communities are dealing with at the ground level up? And what can we do to ameliorate the situation for everybody? So we had our mukbang today. So our mukbang, for those to catch up, is where we do a different spotlight on a restaurant during the COVID-19 quarantine. Because a lot of restaurant sales have plummeted at least 50 to 80%. And so just to increase visibility, encourage people to order. One of my friends, I asked him to be a special guest on the show, Kev Jumba, but he was like, nah, let me sponsor your episode instead. So he ended up paying for our food today for today's episode with the owner of Yellow House Cafe. We had our episode earlier, and what we're doing now is I need to go pick up those 20 meals and go distribute them. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Everybody was so excited to see food, and they're so nice. Everyone's so nice. Everyone's so nice. They don't deserve any of that. Our system is so flawed in so many areas. I don't even know why people are living on the street. Look at that! Look at that fried rice! Oh, seafood, shrimp, egg, ten of them! Bulgogi rice! Yay! Please do something. Please be proactive. Don't let that fire just be in your heart and die out. Because in order to fan a flame, you need to continue feeding it wood and, and, and that energy. And that's what it is. It's doing good. Because the more good that we do, the more good that we do. <laughs> it just continues in a cycle. And that's, that's really what humanity is all about. That's why we were born into this world, to fully experience life and to enjoy it with each other. But if we're toiling like ants and slaves every single day of our lives till the day that we die, what kind of life is that? That's not a life that we've come to here to experience in abundance. <laughs>